here with Madame Pru Dorothée Prunier, SVP Environmental Risks and Head of Product Engagements, Services Climate plus COG of TAB. Welcome. Thank you. During your interview uh, and your keynote speech for our uh, annual congress, you talk about climate technologies. And uh, I think that it is um, a topic that is uh, really important for you and uh, that you know very well, because as I, if I recall correctly, you uh, work in the environmental risk uh, field for uh, from uh, 20 years, more or less. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, true. So, given your many years of experience in this field, could you tell us how climate technologies have evolved over the sure. years? Sure, sure. So, as you mentioned, uh, things are evolving, um, and um, and from the moment I started to now, uh, we've seen new technologies. So, I, I think it's a mix between uh, what we can see in terms of innovation and how it can can be integrated and. Uh, it progressed all the time. We see uh, new technologies to clean up the soil. And it comes along also with some new regulations. So usually it's like a mix between new technologies targeting how to reach uh, thresholds for new regulations. So that's really what, what we have seen uh, in, in the past. Uh, so um, on this type of technologies, are there any differences uh, in the uh, Different, different areas of the world. So what we see is that uh, you have the technologies available clearly, but uh, depending on um, the government, the re local regulation and uh, the investment, all that comes to me, it's like a market. One technology can be uh, successful in one place where it's going to be totally absent in another one. So uh, clearly, uh, it's not only about the technology, but it's also about how the market is prepared to welcome the technology. And if it's going to make a big difference and it's going to be a game changer or not. And that's what we see. Personal curiosity, some examples? Yeah, uh, clearly you can see, uh, for instance, um, thinking about... Um, um, I don't know, uh, let's say uh, geothermal production. Clearly, it can be uh, something that some governments want to push in some area, and it will also depend on, a, on the geography. Do you have some geothermal power to, to e e explore? And, uh, and in some places, it's going to be totally absent. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. For your inter interview, and see you at the next one.